G'day, how you going? So we're going to talk about the image stabilization. So there's two image stabilization settings. There's one, there's one for the still images for, for normal photos and there's also image stabilization for your movies. So in the still image stabilization there's about four settings. I usually use the image stabilization auto. Now what that's for is the in body stabilization. So it's moving the sensor up, down, left, right to keep it stable. It's mainly good for um, when you're zooming in and your cameras, you know, your hands are shaking a little bit. So that's keeping it steady for you. It's helping you prevent camera shake when you're when you're taking photos. Like I said, when you zoomed in on telephoto lenses. Um, it can help there. It, it helps you in all scenarios. So I leave it on the eye auto. There's other modes as well. The movie also has two modes. There's the shift moving one plus the digital image stabilization. So what that does is it crops a little bit around the perimeter of the image. So it crops it in a little bit and, the, and it digitally does something in the computer to to also uh, add to the um, stabilization of the of your of when you're taking a photo uh, when you're taking video. So and the other one for that is uh, just the sensor shift, not the digital, and that gives you the full frame of the movie. Jerry, up, come on. I'll take some videos um, and I'll take some still shots to experiment with it and see how it goes and I'll get into the menu system and show you how to set it up and which ones to pick and when to pick them. The settings for image stabilization can be accessed through the super control panel and it's this one down here. You've got off and then you've got the first one which is all directions. The second one which is vertical so you use that when you put it in portrait mode and then the third one is horizontal that's when you're in landscape mode and then you've got the image stabilization auto which is the one that i mainly use these ones vertical and horizontal you use those when you when you're trying to do panning shots at around half a second or one third of a second the image was okay and it, there was no camera shake and no blurriness. But when I got started getting into the second 1.6 seconds, you could see some blurriness entering. So it's only really good like for like above one second when you're in the like one half a second, one third, one tenth of a second. Anything under a second, you, you can't get away with it unless you've got really steady hands. Like this one was at 1.6 of a second and it was not too bad so it's not it's not a miracle thing but it's it helps you nonetheless in the menu system under the custom in the release menu you'll see another way to get to it image stabilization in here you'll have the still picture which is the same as what we did on the super control panel and also you can set um, the movie you've got it off for the movie <clears throat> you've got the first one which is image stabilization with both the sensor and, and digitally so what that's doing is it'll crop it so the digital part will crop it and then it'll also use the in body and then you've just got the in body and it won't crop it okay so this is sensor shift only on the movie mode you know try to keep your your the camera close to your body that always works and that's an example of of stabilization sensor only so this is now sensor shift plus digital stabilization so you can see it crops it in a little bit just the perimeter crops it in like I don't know five percent but once again I think this is better because it's getting it's using both obviously a gimbal is better but um, if you don't have a gimbal so Okay, so this is digital shift plus stabilization.
This is sensor shift only. <laughs> Jerry, play with pickles. There is another area which people don't know too much about. It's in scene mode here. When you go into scene mode, there's a digital image stabilization mode. Where, um, if you don't want to muck around with all the settings and that, and you're in scene mode, you can pick that, and that would that will be a digital image stabilization, which will probably crop it a little bit. If you want to adapt lenses that aren't Olympus or that aren't specific to micro four thirds, there's one thing that you have to do. You have to set the millimeter, you have to set the focal range. For instance, this lens here, it's one of those CCTV cheap lenses that you can get. Um, it's got a different mount point here. So you've got to get an adapter because the native lenses talk to the camera directly, these don't have any contacts. So you've got to tell the image stabilization uh, what the focal is. So this one's 25 millimeters. First, let's put the adapter on. I put it on back to front. It's this way. Should have the red, red dot somewhere there. Okay, so now that's attached to it. Now when you turn this on, see how it's got zero aperture. It doesn't know what the hell you've attached to the camera. Now we know it's 25 millimeters. Let's put it on image stabilization auto. And then let's go into that. And then you press the info key. And then you see down on the right there, you can change that to whatever millimeter. 25 so this lens is 25 millimeters so now the image stabilization is set at 25 millimeters and because that's what that lens is focal length is and that'll be pretty much tuned into that uh, lens because it this lens doesn't talk to the camera so it doesn't know so you've got to set it manually and when you're on a tripod you want to turn the image stabilization off there's no point letting the camera chew up the battery trying to stabilize when it's already stable on the tripod anyway so that goes with the still photography as well including movies so in the menu system you can either just do it through this the super control panel here and just sent turn it off like that or you can go into the release and then you can turn it off here this one here halfway release with image stabilization so when set to on the image stabilizer will work while shutter button is being pressed what this one is um, some lenses that you buy like the really good ones the expensive ones the pros and that uh, I think some of the other ones as well they have image stabilization built into the lens so what this one here is saying is select on to use the lenses image stabilization so that's it for that so that's that's all there is in the menu system about image stabilization okay so thanks for watching so um, make sure you subscribe and uh, and give it a like if you if you like the video and I'll make um, and I'll move on to the next chapter uh, next week no worries thanks for watching Jerry are you gonna do the video? Hmm? Well there you go. Start talking. Here. There you go. There's the camera, Jerry. You start talking.